Bobby Hill has been renting out rooms in her two-story Claremont house since her first child went off to college more than 25 years ago. Since then, at least 120 college students have boarded in her 112-year-old craftsman-style home, helping the 82-year-old make ends meet. She now has five tenants, including her ex-husband, an artist who rents a backyard cottage and displays his sculptures throughout the property. I don't have a retirement, Hill said. I'm totally dependent on my social security and my business of renting rooms to students. Hill said she loves her interactions with young people, saying it makes her feel optimistic for the future. Her tenants say Hill is more mentor than landlord. If I ever have a problem, Bobby is really willing to help, said Tatiana Woolyoung, 24, a student at Claremont Graduate University. It's good for me. I can get along with people who aren't my age. Hill's house in leafy Claremont is an example of the unconventional housing solutions already surfacing throughout Southern California and across the country as society ages. Related, as Southern Californians grow old, housing will be scarce, solutions, pitfalls are already here demographers project Southern California senior population will grow by 1. 2 million by 2030 and by an additional 852. Oh, 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 the decade after that, the population of people younger than 65, meanwhile, will shrink steadily over the next 40 years. By 2060, projections show, there will be close to 5. 5 million people over 65, or 29% of the region's total population. As the region ages, housing options will evolve with some seniors needing more support in their homes and others on fixed income struggling with finances. Intergenerational living will become common, sometimes with kin moving in together to share duties and expenses, sometimes with seniors renting rooms to non-family members in exchange for help around the house. Home sharing and co-living will become more conventional. And one agency is experimenting with a backyard cottage program that saves some seniors from homelessness. A website called Silver has helped Jocelyn McCormick, 78, find a room made after her husband died last spring. The online site pairs home seekers with people with rooms for rent. Some services on the site are free, although it charges a monthly fee for extras like background checks and sample lease agreements.